So I know this is a part of the cold open and you guys are just going to watch some Photoshop stuff today. I know uh, maybe this will be part of the end reel. I don't know. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do for this. I, I want to make like a Titanic joke, like about Rose chucking the jewel off the back of the boat and it's just not making any sense. <laughs> Hey class, Mr. G here. Today we're going over another project. I'm still loving the whole animated version of me. It's just a lot of fun. And like I can do fun tricks like I can I can leave, then come back, and then go out again. Woo! Haha. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm just having fun with this uh, this program. I think it's a lot, a lot of fun. But today's program, we're going to be talking about Photoshop. For the mixed bodies, what we're doing is we're taking two different animals or characters, and you're going to merge those two pieces together. So one of the examples that we used, that I use in class, is the turtle. So taking a turtle and then removing sections of the shell out, and then in place of the shell, you're putting like an aquarium or putting something inside the turtle so it looks like that space is being used for something else entirely. Drastically different things. And so having a gorilla in the jungle and then a mermaid in the sea, what if we combine the two and had a uh, gorilla top half with a mermaid bottom half in, in the sea? I just think it was a lot of fun. It's a really cool idea. So today's project is diving into mixed bodies. So let's go through some stuff in Photoshop. And I'm just going to go ahead and start stacking in my elements. Starting off on this project, I got to start off with the background first. You always want to build your scene first before you get into the character building because it makes the structure of where things are going in the space a lot easier. So one of the things that I've started checking out, it's on my IG feed, is deserted places. And I don't know if you're one of those people who likes just to watch people go through like old houses or like oh there's like a hidden cave or something and there's like, just seeing what's down there so that's where the the idea first came from the what i was taking my inspiration from and because it's undersea you want to add some barnacles in there want to add uh coral reefs rock stuff and, and laying those pieces in there so I'm just adding those elements in. Right now, all I'm doing is kind of adding in the, the structures of what I want, where I want them. Uh, once I have those pieces laid out, then I'm bringing in my main attraction. We got our uh, two gorillas, and then I've got some fish tails that I'm gonna be doing a lot of work on as I'm, going, as I'm working on this. For this project, I really want to focus on using things in that one scene all together so that we can see these things in their natural habitat. And because, you know, these are mermaids in general, let's be honest, mermaids in general, if you if you watch The Little Mermaid, she's a scavenger. Ariel in The Little Mermaid likes to find hidden treasures and then go down and find the hidden treasure and then pull it back to her secret cave. So I kind of want to take the same thought process of these two Marillas. Let's go with that. Marillas, I think I think it's a good term. Out <laughs> finding different treasures and they're gonna they're gonna take it back. And these two are mainly because of the picture that I found. I had two gorillas that were kind of gonna battle and I wanted to put them in the scene so just again adding more structures in here so i can kind of flesh out how the whole piece is going to look also getting into a little bit of ecology so as we all know there's a lot of trash in the world so why don't we just also make a mention of seeing that trash be aggressive and trying to make sure that you know cleaning up clean up the clean up the sea make things a lot prettier once I've started putting out my placement of objects, so I want to definitely have that ecology piece in there where we have bottles, we have the six packs, that the rings that are on six packs, those plastic ring pieces, I definitely want to have that in there that these are trash elements that are inside of the ocean. We want to be conscientious of cleaning that thing, that up and, and trying to have a better ocean, have a more healthy earth. That's definitely a big thing for me. As I'm going through this, most of the stuff that I'm doing is very simple elements in Photoshop. I'm using a lot of layer mask. I am doing a little bit of color grading and color adaptation to how things are going, but that's basically it. It's how you stack the different things in the, in the image to give an overall viewpoint.
Awesome, guys. I hope that you had fun over with me in Photoshop here. So one of the things that I, I'm still like back and forth on is the gorilla image that I used. There was a lot of extra ex like blown out highlights on the white or the silver bits of the fur and that was really hard to kind of work around so i wish i found a better picture but that was way after i started working on this and i was too far into the project to go find another picture and, and pull it back in and you sometimes have to do deal with what you got and and using the skills that you have or like how can i change and how can i put stuff over this that's really what i spent most of my time on is is trying to problem solve with the image that i'm working with and, and using the tools that i have which are great tools but sometimes you have to have but sometimes it's the stock that's the issue so again um playing around with it getting lots of uh color manipulation how how to get those colors just right so everything looks like it's homogeneous to its space where it's going to be where it's going to live uh and then finishing it off with uh some s spray paint pieces where i'm using the brush to to put in white around it and make it look a little more like bubbles underneath the ocean i want to have that little bit of essence so that everything looked finished everything looked like a scene that we would like we'd actually see so again, um, I'm going to be working on more of these projects too as I'm going forward, and, and I like the character thing here. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, but I am going back uh, next week. We're definitely doing some more classroom management stuff, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions uh, during today's... Oh, hang on. Let's wrap up class like we always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on all the various platforms. We're trying to get our message out there to as many teachers, friends, and students as we possibly can. And don't forget, if you guys had a question, comment, or concern during today's class today, raise your hands in the comments below. Happy to answer the questions from my classmates, as always. So don't forget to put those two cents down below. Love answering questions from, from you guys, so, so add that to my repertoire. Uh, as always, I will see you guys next class. Until then, later, guys. I know, uh, maybe this will be part of the end reel. I don't know. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do for this. I, I want to make, like, a Titanic joke, like, about... Uh, Rose chucking the jewel off the back of the boat and it's just not making any sense as far as you know I've been doing movie stuff for a minute doesn't make any sense logistically was, come on Cameron you just got lazy I got a thing with the color blue I like the color blue and um, I don't know maybe I should make up like a story about how the Titanic sunk and this is uh, the aftermath of the Titanic mixed with Planet of the Apes what if Planet of the Apes was over the Titanic that's what this should be it should be about that, like a, like a weird, maybe I should make that a movie. I don't know how I'm going to make that a movie, but that would be fantastic. Think about that. Grills of the Apes. We were, it was our home the whole time. What if Gorillas, of the, what if Planet of the Apes made Titanic? Oh, no, a little mermaid version of, for, what if, this is, all right, if you have the Planet of the Apes, what if we just did weird rifts on all TV shows? So, like, first we have Little Mermaid over here. I would love to see. I would love to see a Planet of the Apes version of Cheers. Why? I just think that'd be hysterical. It would be like Zootopia with a drinking problem. That's weird. It's kind of funny. I don't know. Maybe this will just be all in credit stuff. So, if you, if you got this far in the video, awesome. Tell me what other weird duo groups video uh, videos that would be cool. I, I don't know. It's like the dogs playing poker. I would love to see some sort of iteration on on that. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe this whole thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. It's like a whole Rick and Morty bit at this point. I don't know.